Yo guys, Demi here back with another tutorial, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how you can get your own Ag Agario private server, and how you can actually make it so your friends can join the server. So, the first thing you need to do is that you need to open up your web browser, and you need to download Ogar. Ogar is pretty much just, you know, what's used to host the server. Click clone or download, download zip, and then take the zip file and use any extracting program. I'm going to use Ogar, I mean I'm going to use WinRAR because I have that on my computer. And you just want to go ahead and move this Ogar-Master folder to your desktop. Now once you've done that, you can just go, uh, now you want to download a program called Node.js. Open up Node.js and download... Um, either version either one works i'll just download the older one because it's more stable now that it's done downloading you just want to click on it to open it up and let the basic installation pro process go through hit ne go ahead and hit next i accept next 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 install yes and so that's installing you also want to install an app called notepad plus plus i misspelled it Oh yeah, and I'll link all of these sites in the description for you guys to go download it for yourself. You just want to go to download, click this, and I'll link this as well. Now, once your node.js setup has finished, you would just want to go ahead and click finish. Now we'll wait for our notepad++ to install. Now that you're, um, you've gone through the whole notepad installation, you just want to unclick that and click finish. So you pretty much got everything uh, downloaded and installed. Now you want to open up your Ogar master folder, go to install dependencies .bat, and run this file. Okay, so once it's done that, you're going to see that it put another file here. So now you want to go to your src folder and in the game server.ini, you don't have to do this, but if you have Skype, it's it's ideal to do this. For your server port, you want to type in 1599. And for the server stats port, you want to type in 1600. Go ahead and hit Control S to save that and close this. Now you can um, do start windows.bat and run that. And in Google Chrome, you want to type in agar.io slash question mark IP equals and then 127.0.0.1 colon. 1599 and then that'll open your own sir it'll open your own server wait let me just remove extensions because sometimes they can block you from joining the server just like this one blocked me from joining the server and i'll go ahead and type this again equals 127.0.0.1 colon 1599 and now it's connecting and now i can hit play as guest and I'm gonna be in the server, right? This is my server, that's awesome, we got it set up. But most people, once they set up the server, they don't want it to play for themselves. If you're the people, if you're one of those people that do want to play for yourself, then you could just always use this link. But if you send this link to other people, they can't join your server using it. So if you want other people to join your server, like friends, then you need to do this next step. You want to go ahead and hit Windows key R and type in CMD and hit enter. Now you want to type in IP config into your CMD and now it'll bring you up with this whole menu and stuff, right? So here where it says Ethernet adapter Ethernet, um, you want to see find your default gateway. Mine is 192.168.1.1 and you want to type this into your browser. Now the, the username is admin, the password is password and click login. For me, I have Netgear, so this is what mine looks like, and this is how you're going to do it if you have Netgear, but if you don't have Netgear and you have another router, then you'd want to do it through a different way. So now, once you've done that, you want to find, you want to do, for your service name, you could just name it anything, I'll just name it Ogar. The protocol has to be TCP slash UDP, starting port 1599, ending port 1600, and this, um... This internal IP address, it's normally going to be whatever this number is right here. But because I did some settings with my, um, with my internet, it's going to, it's a little different. Mine is actually 31, but it says 32, but yours is going to say it just like it is. So my, so if yours was 192.168.1.31, then it would also say it here. And your device name, like my computer's device name is dim. 
So, just go ahead and click on this little thing. Now you want to click apply. And as you can see, we've poured forwarded. So now once you've poured forwarded, what you can actually do is you can send your friends the server, but you still can't send them this link. What you need to do is go to Google, type in what's my IP, whatever, what's my IP. And then you want to copy your IP address from here. I'm obviously going to hide it because it, if you, and also keep in mind, if you give this IP address to people that you don't trust, then they can do things such as DDoS you, find your location. So only give this to friends that you trust. And now with that IP in the URL bar, you want to just go ahead and type in agar.io forward slash question mark IP equals, and then paste in what you just, um, copied and then go ahead and type in 1599 for the port and you can send your friends this link and they can join your private server and play with you using this link uh i don't know why it's not working right now give it a second i guess it's just because i messed with the internet service settings let's see here if we edit it what will happen or did i just get disconnected no i didn't so, so, oh, the port changed, that's why. Now it's now it changed to 32, and it's still 31 here. This happens sometimes where your port changes, and you just have to select it again. Go ahead and hit apply now. And now I think I can play. There we go, see? And then you can send this link to your friends with your IP in it, but don't send it to people who you don't know, because they can do malicious things with your IP address. Um, if this tutorial helped you, make sure to subscribe, comment if you had an issue, and like so that the video can get out there more. Thank you for watching, and um, stay tuned for more tutorials.